Good morning. Thank you for choosing to start your day with only in Sedona Yoga. A few moments of mindful movement as you wake up helps you adjust your mood and mindset for the next 24 hours. You don't need any equipment, but feel free to grab any that you might like. And let's wake up by talking to our mat. Okay, beautiful yogi, just begin your day on your back. If you'd like, you can come into Supta Vada Konasana by bringing the soles of your feet together and letting your knees fall to the side, placing one hand gently on your heart to feel it beating for you and the other on your navel. And just take three deep breaths as you think of something positive. Find your gratitude. Maybe just give silent thanks for another day. And when you're ready for a little movement, I'll go those knees into your chest, starting your day with some self-compassion and love. And then grab either the outside of your feet or it might feel good to put your fingers between your toes and come into a happy baby. Now, some people don't like this move. If it makes you uncomfortable, you could take one leg down, kind of give me a little half happy baby. We're gonna get out of bed just like an infant. So just kind of stretch each leg, play with it. Get a little movement in those hamstrings. Maybe start coming up towards center if you want. Or staying out to the side. You're just saying good morning. <laughs> Waking up those legs before bringing them center. And then just reach towards those toes. And if you can't touch your toes, it does not matter. Just reach towards them. And then stretch out long. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, bring one knee up to 45. Cross it over your body. And wake up that lower spine. Let your other arm come out. Take a breath or two here. And then bring it back to center. Extend both arms and legs again to get another big stretch. And then bring that other leg to 45 degrees and cross it over. Gently waking up that lower spine. And then bring it back to center. Once more, hug both legs into your chest, and this time we're gonna do a little rock and roll to come up to seated. So just start rocking it up. Taking as many rocks as you like. Being gentle, massaging that spine a little before finally coming to sit. Looking forward, taking a nice deep breath to start your day. And whichever leg is in front, as you exhale, just twist toward it. And your next inhale, lift this back arm up. Make that stretch a little deeper. And as you come out of it, bring that right arm or whichever arm was in back around. Wrap around, give me a quick set of eagle arms, spread open that upper back. And then just release, switch legs. Take another nice deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, twist to the side. And then next inhale brings that back arm up and over, elongating through the side body. And then whichever arm is up, stays up as you come out. 
Wrap the other arm around it, coming into eagle arms. Open up that upper back. And as you release from this, come into all fours for some cat cows. So find a nice all fours position. And as you inhale, sink into the saddle of the back. As you exhale, round up through the spine. Do that two or three more times as you unite breath and body. And start to form an intention for your day. Perhaps selecting a word that represents the vibe you want to emit today. Maybe serenity, maybe productivity, maybe positivity. Start to tune into that vibe, feeling it in your body as you move with your breath. And come to a flat spine. Come to a kneeling position for a little half camel to wake up that spine some more. So bring one hand to your heel, other arm comes up and over. A low spine. And as you exhale out of this one, we're gonna go into a child's pose. So spread those knees, hands come out in front. Sink into that child's pose. And then come rounding up out of that. Find your other heel, other arm comes up. And then come out of that, find that child's pose again. This time, once you find your child's pose, gently walk your fingertips from side to side. We'll stay here for a breath or two. Walking back to center in your child's pose. Come back up to all fours. Preparing for your first down dog. Maybe widen your stance just slightly as you tuck those toes. And lift up in your day's first down dog. Bend your knees. Lift your hips a little higher. And take a few breaths here just to walk out your dog. Loosening up that posterior chain. It does tend to get stiff overnight. So let's gently wake it up. And when you're ready, lift on both toes and then just let your heels drop. Do not worry if they do not touch. That is normal. Just give me a breath or two here. Before walking it forward, and your hands will start to come up and that's okay. If they don't touch, that's fine. Just let the elbows cross, tick tock. If your fingertips do touch the mat, you can just kind of walk it out to either side of your feet. But don't worry if they don't touch. Just wherever you're at, soften your knees now. Come rounding up to standing. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. Link your hands together. Look up towards that sky. Take a nice deep stretch. And bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna flow through a quick sun salutation two together, moving mindfully, waking up our muscles. Dip down, letting your fingertips brush them out and then come into your Utkatasana chair, opening your heart to the morning sun. Your next inhale lifts you up. Your next exhale surrenders to a forward fold. You can use blocks here if you want. Either way, inhale to your flat spine. Exhale, bring your palms down, step back to plank, the top of a push-up. You can drop your knees or just hold your elbows in the chaturanga. Give me an up dog, uncurling those toes, and back into your down dog. 
Give me a breath here. Lift that right leg up with your next inhale. And then let it fall open to the side. Take a breath or two to explore that hip opening before bringing it through. Planting it between your palms, back foot's pivot. Come on up into your warrior one. And then come on down, flow through a vinyasa. Inhaling to up dog. And exhaling to down dog. Pause for a breath here. Before inhaling that left leg up. Open up that hip. Explore that opening for a minute. Before bringing it on through. Planting it between your palms. Pivoting that foot. Coming up to your beautiful warrior one. Release when you've had enough. Blow through your vinyasa. Inhaling to up dog. Exhaling to down dog. Pause here. Give me two or three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And then just come walking it forward. First finding a flat spine. And then let your fingertips brush again as you come back up into the Utkatasana chair. Holding here just for a breath before inhaling it up, stretching an inch taller. Exhaling to heart center. Come center on your mat. Wrapping up our morning practice with another deep inhale. Grab a wrist. Look up. If you're doing this outside, it feels wonderful. Try that this summer. Switch to the other side, another deep inhale. And if you really want to try something creative, put your mat to the side and try doing your practice on the bare earth. Take your feet about hips distance apart. Come down into your yogi squat. Maybe shake it out on those knees for a second before coming into that easy seat to conclude our morning practice by taking one more deep breath inhale and tapping your forehead to remind you to be mindful of your thoughts today. Lips for mindfulness of speech and your heart in gratitude for your practice. We at Only in Sedona are so grateful for you. Thank you for starting our day, your day with us. Please check out our website. It's being updated. We got that going now. And look for our new videos. Subscribe to our channel and look for a new video coming out every single Wednesday. Join our family and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. And namaste.